My name is Enrique. I come from Spain and I feel European. I was living in Sweden when the foreign minister was killed during the campaign for the Euro. Last year, more than 70% of the Spanish population supported the European Constitution, but France said no and nobody knows what is going to be the ending of the European process. Now, I'm living in Ireland, that is supposed to be a pro-European country, but I want to discover by myself the real opinion of the Irish population. I found in Merrion Square the European Movement of Ireland that supports Europe since the 1950s. What is the European Movement? European Movement is a 50-year-old uh, organisation, um, it's a cross-party, non-governmental organisation that exists um, to talk about Ireland in Europe and Europe in Ireland and uh, really sell the positive messages of Europe. There is definitely a disconnect between the um, man on the street and um, the, I suppose, the political people, um, certainly one seems to be disconnected from the other. And that's where we see our role coming in, in bridging that gap. Do you think that the Irish identity is threatened by the European Union? Um, I haven't thought that through, but quite honestly, I feel we've lost some of our identity. I think so, a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all the countries, not just Ireland, all countries in Europe, so, yeah. It would depend. In a lot of ways, yes, and in a lot of ways, no. Culturally, I would say that the Irish identity is going to stay Irish for a very long time, whereas economically, etc., Europe's already kind of taken over in a lot of ways, so we've already lost a lot of the Irish identity. Um, but in saying that, the economics of a country is not really what makes the country. What do you think is going to be the ending of this period of crisis? I think this is an opportunity. The ending will be dictated by how much we grasp that opportunity and what we do with that opportunity. Um, we've always been ahead, uh, you know, at the forefront in Ireland with the National Forum in Europe and um, now with organisations like ourselves with, who are trying to engage and, and working very hard to engage. The level of engagement and the success of that engagement I think will dictate the answer to your question. What would you say to a European constitution? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. I wholly endorse their um, everybody coming here. Yeah. There's plenty of money round. We can take them all in. <laughs> I think in, in most, um, certainly high level, I would say yes to it. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm all in favour of Europe. Probably no. I would say no. I mean, if we're going to be part of something, we have to accept some of the rules anyway, you know. But, uh, as I say, as long as we can keep a certain amount of our own individuality. I don't know what is going to happen in the European process, but I can tell that the Irish population is aware of all the changes that we are going through. And that's a good signal, because the ones who decide the future of Europe are not politicians or organisations. The ones who decide are people. Yeah.